Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Lost Thunder video. Lost Thunder hype is finally here, guys. I'm excited. There's a lot of decks to look at. This set is insanely massive. And of course, before we get into today's video, I gotta ask you guys, as always, for the first video on a new set, can we break 100 likes on this video? I would appreciate it. And uh, also, I do want to say, rest in peace, PDCGO gems. I'm gonna miss seeing this above my screen. I'm gonna miss seeing the 20 gem thing. It's... Kind of sad that they're going to be going. I hope, I really hope the Charizard Avatar items do not go to the shop because they should be rare. So who knows? But anyways, let's take a look at today's deck, which I decided to do Decidueye Ninetales. It seems like the funner deck. I was going to look at a Ninetales Buzzwell deck, though I still could if you do want to see that. I'm always open to do Buzzwell Ninetales. But we're going to look at Ninetales Decidueye. And um, this deck has a lot of height. It did well in Japan. So this definitely has potential to cross over. And we're going to look at the deck today. There's a lot going on. As you can see, there's a lot of cool things in this deck. So the main idea of the deck is to use Alolan Ninetales GX and use the ability Mysterious Guidance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, of course, you put on full picks. You may search your deck for up to two item cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. This ability is insanely powerful obviously this is one of the most hyped cards out of the new set and that ability combos well and what we want to do with this deck is we want a mysterious guidance for rare candies we want a mysterious guidance for stuff like ultra balls and timer balls to be able to get decidui gx into play and then when we get decidui gx into play we have feather arrow which obviously is a really good ability um once in your turn before you attack you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon so we spread with Feather Arrow, we have Razor Leaf, and all that stuff. Um, so it's a good attacker. But Ninetales can also combo with Decidueye with its own attack. Snowy Wind, a fairy in a color that does 70 damage. And this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So that attack is pretty good with Decidueye. Um, with a Choice Band, you can one-shot Rayquaza GX, which is really relevant. But Ninetales also has a very good GX attack. Sublimination! Uh... If your opponent's side Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, it's just straight up knocked out. So we're going to be comboing this with Decidueye. We're going to use the ability to get Decidueye in play. And of course we have the other Lola Ninetales in here. Ice Blade is really good with Decidueye too. Um, there's not many like big Pokemon that this counters too hard other than uh, Blasifleon. I, I still need to work on pronouncing that card name. Oh my god. But yeah, this can counter Blasifleon and we might run into that. Uh, people hopefully testing it. There's a lot more in this deck than just the Ninetales Decidueye engine. Uh, this deck does play 1-1 Swampert. The list in Japan was running a 1-1 line of Swampert, which is interesting, but it seems like a pretty cool addition. We can do Hydro Pump, and we can do Power Draw. Power Draw being the big one. Uh, we have Boost Energy in the deck, and we can also run just one unit energy for both the Sidui and Swampert, so it seems like a pretty good one of inclusion. Um, we are playing the new Larvitar. This is one of the strongest new... Fighting types to come out of this new set. Really, really good card um, to counter Zoark GX. So obviously, you have the attack second strike for DC. If your most Pokemon already has three or more damage counters on it, this attack does 70 more damage. So yeah, Zoark's gonna have 30 damage on it. And you're gonna do 80 damage, 160, and then you can combo in another Feather Arrow, uh, Choice Band. Second strike will cream a Zoark. So just a really nice Zoark counter. Um, so that's why we are going to be playing one copy of Larvitar. And of course we got one Coco. Um, I think Latios honestly might be a little bit better in this deck. Just because Breakthrough can help against Buzzwool, which Buzzwool will probably rebound thanks to Ninetales. So you might want to play that instead. It's up to you though. But those are all the Pokemon other than just one Lele. Um, the list did play two, but we're going to go with one today. Because there's a lot of other fun things we can do in this deck. So we'll take a look at everything else. The items. We play a lot of niche items. Counter Catcher is really good. You know, if you start off with an early Beacon or an early Flying Flip, you get knocked out. You get access to Counter Catcher. One Field Blower. Um, two might be the more standard, to be honest. One Max Potion. Another nice card. Decidueye is kind of tanky. You can Max Potion it. Four Rare Candies, of course, to go into our Pokemon. One Switch for Switch. We got two Timer Balls. Unfortunately, this card is pretty doo-doo. I hate this card a lot. It's so dumb, but uh, if you get heads on it, it's a really good way to get a Decidueye into your hand, or in that case, a Ninetales. I mean, four might be better. You can also run Great Ball, four Ultra Balls, one Ace Roll. Ace Roll is really good with Ninetales. You get to reuse the ability if it's damaged, so that's kind of why we're playing that. Four Cynthia's for draw, two Guzmas, three Lilies. 
Um, and then we, of course, got the brand new Elms Lecture, one of the strongest supporter cards to come out of this new set. This is really good. Of course, it's basically Bridget 2.0. Um, search deck for up to three Pokemon with six HP or less, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Really good card. Of course, you can grab Rowlets and Volpixes with the Elms Lecture, which is what you want to do. You can also grab Mudkip. Unfortunately, Elm can't get any GXs. You also can't get Wimpods and stuff like that. But this is just a really good card for Zoark and everything. So Elm's Lecture, of course, you're going to run three copies of it, which is what the Japanese list played. Two choice bands. Um, we got two counter gains. Another really good card in this deck is counter gain. Counter gain allows us, if you have more prizes remaining than your opponent, the attacks is uh, Pokemon uh, cost colorless less. So the idea is you get knocked out early on after you've done Beacon or Flying Flip or something, and then you get to put counter gain on. Swampert does Hydro Pump for DCE. Ninetales does Snowy Wind for a single Fairy Energy. That's kind of the idea behind playing two copies of counter gain. And the energy, we got one super boost energy. It's really easy to get multiple stage twos in place. Four DCEs, just for all of our attackers. Four rainbow energies. The Japanese list split up the energies with fairy and grass, but uh, we're just gonna go with four rainbow energies. It might be risky, who knows? We're gonna try it out. And one unit energy, which unit energy works pretty well with the Sidui and with Swampert. So yeah, that's the deck. And that's basically it. Um, some tech options, there's all kinds of new techs. Um, the one thing this deck doesn't play is stuff like Dartrix. Something you might want to consider is make one Dartrix. That's really about it, all I can think of. Everything else seems kind of nice. You can Hollow Hunt, get back your rare candies if you run out of them, I guess. So there's that option. Especially if you don't end up playing against an Ultra Beast deck. Though that's kind of unlikely, considering there's a bunch of Ultra Beasts. So there's a lot you can do. Of course, Swampert and Ninetales both can counter, um, you know, Blasapheon. And you got the Ultra Beast counter with, you know, Sublimination. So there's a lot you can do with this deck. This is definitely going to be a very fun and strong archetype since it did well in Japan. And we're going to try it out today on PC Joe since it's the more rogue friendly build. I did want to do the Buzzle Ninetales build. I might look at that soon. I don't even know what I'm going to be pulling yet for my lock packs, which usually is what determines what I do in my next video. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute with some matches. Alright guys, here we go. Let's do some games. I'm excited to see how this deck does. I can't wait to try out all the new decks. Um, the one I don't think I'm going to be doing right away is Blasatheon and Naganadel. That's going to be really hard to build because you need four four copies of Blasatheon. I, I'm pretty good on Naganadels, but those things are expensive. Getting four of them is going to be a pain. So I'm not even going to bother with that deck right away. So we'll see. But I want to try with the other stuff. Macargo. I have some cool ideas in mind with Macargo. Lugia, Mimikyu, Shuckle, Genesect. Almost every, every GX in the set, as stated, can work. Maybe Tyranitar is like the doo-doo one. But Tarantos is pretty cool. Um, I have some ideas with T-Tar. We'll see what we play against here. Um, I don't know if we'll play against any other Lost Thunder decks. We'll see. I'm a little worried about Shrine builds. Like, I feel like I'm just going to play nothing but Shrine. Um, ooh. We do have a really strong opening hand here. Really good opening hand. Especially if we can hit Mudkip off of this. Would be nice to actually do an Elms Lecture. No, Coco. Oh, it's a sp <sighs> Of course, we have to play against a annoying spread deck. That's always fun. Alright, we'll bench Larvitar because it's somewhat relevant. I guess I'm just going to have to bench everything in Lily for five. Hope to get an energy. Nice. Oh, he could get rid of that, though. That's annoying. Never mind. I think we just pass... We'll have to like maybe attack him with Baby Nut with a little Nine Tails, the water one. Oh, it is a Shrine deck. All right, we're gonna be playing against some Shrine decks. That's not very fun, but whatever. Hopefully, we run into some Lost Thunder decks eventually, though. I'm hoping we do. Weavile is actually really annoying because we have so many abilities. So, I right, actually would like to deal with Sneasel. We'll see. Oh, he's going to Guzma? Probably bring out Larvitar. No, Coco for some reason. Okay. He's not KOing me. I'm actually fine with him doing this. I don't know why he didn't bring out anything else, but okay. And ooh, we can fly and flip. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to Rare Candy for Decidueye. Hmm. Okay. So I can get rid of... I don't think I'm going to need Swampert. I can probably get rid of Max Potion and Swampert here. I can grab a Lola Ninetales and snipe that Sneasel out. 
I don't hate that. I can't really do sublimination this turn. I mean, I can also set up an ace roll of play. But if I find flip, I'm going to get access to counter gain, which is also pretty hype. But, well, to be fair, I can either KO Slugma or Sneasel. I think Slugma might actually be a better target here. I gotta hurry up and decide. I think we just take out Slugma. I think we take out the Slugma. I think that works fine. Because this way, he doesn't get access to Macargo. All he did was Guzma, so he might not have anything. So this might be a good turn to take it out. Alright, well, Cynthia, we're really looking for another Vulpix here. We didn't get it. Ooh, Elm's Lecture. At least we can discard that. So we'll get rid of... I guess Decidueye and Elm's Lecture can go. It's only two cards I don't really think we need. I really need to get another Vulpix or two in play. We can also set up an Ice Path play if we really need to. Maybe we can set up a play where we avoid Sledgehammer. That's possible. But we'll take out his draw support, and that's kind of what I'm going to hope to do. I'm assuming he didn't have anything there, because there I don't think he would have Guzma'd me out. Now, unfortunately, Shrine is in play, but it's fine, you know. We can always save Max Potion for later. We still have Ace Rolla. We're not in any danger right now. If we also control what we put on our bench, we're not going to get KO'd by Evil Admonition. We can just bounce the damage right back on him, too. We could probably take another turn of Ice Blade, too. So, I feel kind of safe. Ooh, Garboder. Oh, and he had a Cynthia. I thought he didn't have anything. Okay, we've only played four items, so it's not too bad. I think we actually just sniped that Trubbish, though, honestly. Garbodor is going to be a pain. I think this deck might struggle a bit against these Shrine decks. Okay. He might counter energy me out of nowhere and knock me out swing around. I actually kind of have to be careful for that. Okay, so I guess we'll counter gain Vulpix just to burn it. We'll have to play Lele down. I'd like to play the other Rowlet down, but whatever. Lele is such a bad card to put into play. It's whatever, though. I think we just dive. Grab Cynthia. We'll take out Trubbish. Just remove any Garboders and hope he doesn't, like, knock me out next turn. Who knows? It could happen, but I'm going to hold it out that he doesn't get it. Okay. We could actually just... We can knock him out. If he does KO me, we can KO him with Sublimination. So I guess we'll Rainbow Energy the Vulpix. We have a lot of items, though, which is not good. I'm going to have to play another one, but we're taking out Trubbish. We're not going to worry about Garboder. And we'll see. We can either set up a Sublimination Knockout, or we can Ice Path him. Ooh, that was a really good card, because his hand is pretty bad. Okay, now, he could swing around KO me. I'm not going to rule that out. I don't think Sledgehammer could do enough damage. There's no way. Especially because we just removed an extra 10 that turn. I think we're safe. There's another Shrine. Okay. I do want to get rid of this Sneasel, though. We only have two abilities in place. So I guess it's not too bad. It's going to Lily for three. If he doesn't hit me too hard and I feel like I'm not going to get KO'd next turn, I might not I might just keep taking out those Trubbishes. This is kind of what Decidueye Ninetales used to do. It kind of, that's how it kind of won games. It used to just snipe Trubbish. Right. Oh, he's going to get Slugma back. All right. If he doesn't do that much damage, I might just snipe the Slugma. But again, we got to watch out for like a Dionysi Beast Energy Choice Fan play. We're definitely going to knock him out this turn. Oh, I forgot about Sledgehammer. Oh, shoot. Okay, I forgot he had Sledgehammer. That's fine. It's whatever. That's a little annoying that he had that. I forgot he had that, but whatever. Actually, I don't even know how that knocked me out. No, the shrine. Wow. Yeah, lovely. Okay, a little annoying, but whatever. Okay, we'll definitely have to knock him out this turn with nine tails. Oh, man, I really don't want to play that many items. I guess we'll have to get rid of another Decidueye. A little annoying. I don't even know if we really need anything with this ability, unfortunately.
Unfortunately. Well, Lily first. Hmm. Not much. Okay. How many items has I played? Okay, we've played actually quite a lot. Garboder, man. That card needs to leave the format, I swear. I hate Garboder. And I think we just hit Buzzwool again so we can set it up to be KO'd next turn. We do have three abilities in place, so Evil Admonition is going to hurt. I really hate playing against these dumb Shrine decks. It's kind of why I went to Expanded. I guess we'll grab Ultra Ball and... If he does kill me next turn, I guess we'll be behind in prizes, so counter games is fine. I'm not going to play much else. I can't really do that. But we got to show off Ninetales' GX attack here, which is pretty hype. Let's see what our prize is. Cynthia, okay. We're in trouble, though, if Ninetales goes down. We're in a lot of trouble. We don't really have a good backup attacker. We'll have, we'll have the option to play counter gain. I mean, I guess Larvitar could attack and knock him out, right? Hit 80, 20 with the Decidueye. So, we could knock him out Larvitar next turn if we, he does KO me. We do have the option of Larvitar. Buzzwool's not doing much. I might knock out the Sneasel. No, he's going to go into the Sneasel. Okay. He's going to grab Weavile. Maybe I should have played multiple Leleys, because I could technically have Ultra Ball for, a, uh, for an Ace Roller here. That's going to hit me hard. I th he might knock me out. He's just needs a choice band and he's only played one that that's <laughs> stupid shrine decks man leave the format you can't have any fun you just can't yeah this is kind of why i like latios like latios could have been a good way to deal with this buzzle oh please don't tell me that hand is a macargo lily okay we survive oh yeah resistance that does help a little bit not really No, I was hoping that'd be like Ace Rolla. I don't see how I'm winning at this point, but we can try. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Okay, so he knocks me out. Assuming he's gonna kill me. Oh, that's the problem. He can knock me out with this buzzle too. <sighs> Assuming he knocks me out with this, I can try and respond with Larvitar next turn. I think I might do that. Not a fan of playing that much, but whatever. I think at this point, we burn. We burn items. I'll keep the counter catcher. We still have a couple candies. We'll keep the counter catcher. Well, Cynthia, really looking for like a DC for next turn. Oh, I should have grabbed. Uh, I should have grabbed Rowlet then if I knew that. Ah, whatever. And we'll snipe the buzzle. It's going to be a very close game. Especially if we do get that Larvitar KO and he doesn't have like another Guzma knockout. Yes, and he brought out the buzzle. Okay, that's that's what I wanted him to do. We got the DC in our hand. So, we will KO him with Larvitar here with the Sidueye. Unless he like, judges me. I would like to get like an Ace Roller though. I mean, Garboder also spells Doom. But this Larvitar KO is going to be huge. Oh, he's grabbing Diancy. Okay, no Trubbish. I'm glad. Yeah, Cynthia, that's not what I wanted to see. I was really hoping this guy was just going to have a bad hand. Ooh, I'm actually glad he's doing that too. And there's Macargo. That's what I did not want to see. Macargo, we could... 
it doesn't 90 HP, so the option of Razor Leaf, it is there. There, oh, another woo. Garboder? No. If he has, like, the perfect hand, he could just get a Guzma and then win the game next turn. That is what I'm scared of. He's only got two cards. He's played multiple Rainbow Energies. He would need a Garboder. Well, he's played all his Rainbows, so Garboder might not even attack me. The only thing getting in my way is Evil Admonition. That's the only thing that could KO me, and I don't have a way to stop it. How many units has he played? Just one. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is going to go down. If he doesn't win next turn, we're probably going to lose. But if he doesn't if he doesn't win, uh, we win. We'll win the game if he doesn't win this turn. So... It came down pretty close. If he does not win this turn, we win the game. We win the game. The only benefit is... The only benefit from this... The only thing he could really stop me with is Evil Ammunition. And Lele is a huge target. We'll see if he gets it. I mean, I think Larvitar is getting KO'd here. You'd have to find a Beast Energy, too, so that's pretty good. He might play one Psychic. I really hope he doesn't have the perfect hand off of that hand he got, and then he was able to Macargo for the last card he needs to win the game. I really hope that didn't happen. I really hope. He's out of rainbows. I don't think he's playing Psychic Energy. Like, I'm almost a positive he's not. I, I really want to win. I really want to win. I don't want to lose. First time playing a Lost Thunder deck. I ain't trying to lose. Okay, Macargo. This is like a Kikui or a Lily. I mean, I guess Kikui would KO me, but it doesn't matter, because... We'll win the game, hopefully. Oh, we actually don't have a way to win. I just realized. Oh, shoot. I'm assuming he's going to get Kikui off here. I'm assuming he's going to pull it off. We'll see. No Ranguru in play is also pretty good. Oh, that's going for Weavile. He might have an acro bike in his hand too. That could really help. Kakui. Okay, so we are gonna lose Larvitar. We just need to find a DC to win the game. All right, come on. We have Nine Tails. That's not helping. No. We didn't get anything. Really? Why is that popping up now? Go away. Alright, hold on. We're gonna have to burn a bunch of cards from our hand here. I just, maybe I should have held on to that Lily, then that was kind of stupid to play that. Ugh. That was, yeah, I should have held the Lily, guys. That's my bad. Ooh, how did DCE? Oh, it doesn't matter. Hmm. We're out of DC anyways, yikes. I should have held that Lily, though. I think we're just completely out of stuff to grab. We can't play Countercatcher, unfortunately. Best I can do... Hmm. Best I hope we draw into Guzma. I could win this. There's nothing to Feather Arrow, either. Oh, you know what I could do? No, that's not gonna work. I have to go into Decidueye or Ninetales. I think we go into Ninetales. And just pray we don't get knocked out. If he goes into Weavile, though, we lose. So, this game probably ends, but we'll see. Dang it. Just not having this DC is just what's really hurt me, guys. We're going to Nine Tails, and we pray we don't lose this turn. That's it. We just pray we don't lose. He probably has game. He would need a way to switch, and he needs 
a it needs either a way to switch and an energy. That's asking for a little bit, but again, he has my cargo in play, so anything is possible. We probably lose, guys. We probably lose. I don't see how we're winning this. Like, if we don't... I, I just don't see us surviving the turn. If we do survive the turn, we win, most likely. There's Unless he, like, he goes into Garboder, because we didn't really set that up to be KO'd. Which probably should have. Yeah, I should have set up Garboder. But Garboder can't knock me out, I don't think, because he's probably got no Psychics. And if he's stuck just hit me with Sledgehammer, we win the game. So there's the smooth over, and that's going to be what's going to decide what he's going to get. He needs the energy and, like, a Guzma. He has already played his army switch. All right, you know, we might be safe this turn. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. He still has, like, Lily and Acrobike. He's played only one Guzma and only a couple units. So there's really... No, I don't see how we're winning this, but we could. Lily for two. That is not a Guzma. Ooh, does he not have a switch? We win? No, what? No! We don't win. I do not believe that for a second, but we somehow are able to clutch up and win the game. We somehow just barely scraped through and won. That is incredible. That is incredible. Oh, and our last DC is prize. There you go. That is incredible. That we somehow survived that match. Oh my goodness. That's unbelievable. I, that That's insane that we survived that. I really was not expecting to win that game. Like, at all. I was like, there's no chance for winning this. I kind of want to open up a Lost Thunder Pack too. Just to celebrate that victory. I think I will. We'll open up one Lost Thunder Pack. Just to celebrate. But holy... Okay. Ooh, Grovile. And we got... Ooh, Meat Gardevoir. I might try that out. It, it's an interesting card. Choice Helmet's pretty good. Um, Grovile. Grovile's nice. Grovile is nice, but that was not worth opening, I don't think. But that was some... That was an insane win. I'll see you guys in a minute with another game. Alright, guys. Here we go. We are going to go and do another match with our deck. That was a very good game. I still am surprised we won that. Oh, my God. Please don't be another shrine deck. I don't think it is so. I don't see any fire or any colorless. But I don't know what else this type would equal. I really hope we're not playing against multiple shrine decks. That's just not fun. And alright, we got a pretty solid starting hand. Double double nine tails, double brawlet. Pretty good. The only thing missing is a supporter, like an Elm's Lecture or a Lily, so that's really about it. But other than that, this hand is pretty solid. We'll see what we're up against here. Malamar, okay. Uh, still not a good draw, so we'll have to just... Well, actually, I don't think I'm going to get KO'd next turn. And I grab Ultra Ball, so I'm guaranteeing the Lele next turn. So I can Ultra Ball and play Mysterious Guidance. Grab Ultra Ball, and if I... Assuming I do survive the turn, I could set up some Snowy Wind Knocks. That seems fine. Again, I don't think we're getting knocked out. I really hope we don't. Vulpix, please live. Please don't get knocked out, Vulpix. I'm, I'm begging you. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're safe. I'm pretty sure. Assuming he's playing Malamar, we should be good. I totally forgot Malamar was just a psychic fighting deck. So, we should survive. Hopefully. I don't see Vulpix going down. He's going to Ultra Ball. He's going to get rid of Lele and an Energy. That's fine. This is, again, I mean, Latios, I feel like Latios is better than Coco. Like, having Latios would be really nice, honestly, in combination with Larvitar. But really, having the Latios being able to deal with these Psychic types might be the way to go. So, yeah, maybe this deck needs Latios over Coco. But I think Coco is just better with the Free Retreat. There's so many options. I don't know what to go with. We're also up against Standard Gas Can. I don't think there's any shrines, so hopefully we don't have to go through any more Shrine of Punishments torture. That'd be nice. But we put in some work with my boy Ninetales. 
can attach to Mewtwo. He can't really retreat either. I don't think he wants to go into Ink Cake. That's an easy prize. And, okay, he's not. And we drew a DCE. I mean, I guess I could have set up a Decidueye, but whatever. We'll drop the Ninetales. We'll grab two items. We'll grab Ultra Ball. I guess the only other card can go is Choice Band. Discard Bait. Yeah, Choice Band seems fine. I don't really want to get rid of that much, so I think we are going to grab Choice Band and discard it. I don't think we're going to need Choice Band. Gas Can attacks me with non-GXs. So get rid of Choice Band and Max Potion. For our boy Tapu Lele, I was like, is it prized? Because I didn't see it. And we're just going to have the hope to get Rainbow Energy here to get the attack off. We are going to need it, though we're only doing 50, so anything is possible. But you know what? I'm confident we will get it. I guess you can cut down on the Elms Lectures, but again, the Japanese list played three. And Elms Lecture is huge in this deck. We didn't hit the Rainbow Energy. That is a big rip in the chat. But again, I might, we might be safe next turn. No Rainbow sucks. Larvitar, you weak to Psychic, you are not. Okay. So no Rainbow sucks a lot. Not even hitting, like, another Energy is bad, because I would have liked to have built up a Decidueye. Our hand kind of sucks, too. Unless we draw another Ninetales, then we can... Get, another, get Decidueye now, which you're really going to need to deal with this Mewtwo. Yeah, not hitting energy is a huge bummer. I'm, I'm probably safe. Only one NK in play. This is, you know, it's not a big threat. If you had, like, two NKs in play, yeah, I'd start fearing for my life. Because, you know, Malamar would be like, yo, I'm Malamar. I'm going to wreck you. But, yeah, we should we should survive the turn. He might drop, a, like, a Dawnwings combo out of nowhere and somehow attack me with Super Cybolt. Which is two-shotting me, which is actually kind of annoying. He's going to Treasure. Get rid of the Psychic Energy. Grabbing Inkay. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What else? Any Malamar? Him getting a Malamar and a Pokemon be bad? Nope, just a pass. Okay, oh my gosh, really? We're gonna have to put Larvitar down so we can draw two cards here. That's not really great, but it's, I'll take it. It's it's not going to let us attack him this turn, but we can double candy. We kind of have to do that. There's nothing else I can grab, right? I can ace roll us. That's fine. I can ace roll into Larvitar next turn. So that's a decent idea. But yeah, double Decidueye is pretty hype. We can put damage on Mewtwo. We'd only be hitting him for 50 with Snowy Wind. So it's pretty good to get damage on him. I'm gonna play down this Choice Band just, just in case. I doubt we're gonna get Marsh Hatter to judge, but just in case. I'm actually curious to see if he's gonna be playing Giratina. I wanna play against the Lost Thunder deck. We'll have to Ace Roll the next turn. We'll be able to do Mysterious Treasure, and we'll have to just bring out Larvitar and maybe draw a DC and knock him out. Ooh, I'm actually really shocked he's playing Marsh Hatter now. Okay, it's gonna Lily for six, or not six, for five or whatever. I'm fine with I'm fine with Marshadow though. It's not a big threat. It's actually better that he hasn't played. It's a weaker Pokemon, easier to take out. Again, this is where Latios would be good though. So yeah, I think this I think this deck needs Latios. Deoxys or Latios, either or. Deoxys would actually be really clutch. So yeah, I think Coco can go in and replace with Latios or Deoxys. But Ninetales should be safe. I don't really see it any way he's going to get an Necrozma off this turn. He might. I don't know. Yeah, he might get Necrozma. Ugh. He could pull off a Necrozma play. That would be pretty bad. He already did support for turn. Should be good. He's probably going to actually energy drive me, but I'm actually fine with that. To be fair, Marshall's not a big threat. He's not even going to damage me this turn. Which, you know, I'm actually fine with. <laughs> I'm actually glad he's doing that. Alright, so... We'll put some numbers on the board. We can play this, which is good. We can spin through the deck a little bit. Okay. We still have the Ace Rolla. I think we hold. But I am a little worried that he's going to pull off an Necrozma. I think I actually have to go into Larvitar. But Larvitar actually can take a big knockout here on Marshadow or Mewtwo. I think 
I think we just let him try and... We're gonna have to just hope we hit the ace roll to play. Just gotta hope we don't get, like, knocked out. Black Ray would be scary, too. We did get rid of Max Potion. Just not drawing into anything here is what's really hurting us. We'd be in a really good spot right now. Like, this board setup is insane. This is an insane board state, but we're just not drawing anything. Maybe this deck needs more supporters. Probably does. I give. I guess, like, three Elms is a little overkill. I don't know. The, the Japan list played three. I think two might be just better over three. And we gotta hope he doesn't Necrozma me. If he doesn't Necrozma me, I'm gonna be pretty happy because we'll be able to Ace Rolla into, like, Largy Taller or something. I might even just bring out Lele. Lele is a sitting duck. Alright, here we go. What do we draw? What do you mean, brother? <sighs> That's annoying. I think we just keep piling on Feather Arrow damage until the end of time. Wouldn't would be nice to hollow hunt. Alright, well Ace Roll up. We're gonna be able to possibly get back to Ninetales ability. I don't know if I wanna give up two prizes though. Larvitar does seem like a really good way to take a nice quick two prizes. So I think Lele has to come up. Oh wait, what am I doing? Why didn't I am a, I'm a big idiot. I can just do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? False alarm, guys. I can do that. But honestly, it's fine. Burning the switch. I think we will get back. No. What? We don't need rare candy. I guess we can get back. I want to get back Ace Rolla. Max Potion's okay if he does Black Ray me, but Ace Roll is more clutch. Alright, well, we're not going to get Ice Path, we're not going to get Sublimination, but that doesn't matter. Alright. Forgot we could do Hollow Hunt that turn. Bit of a new move on my end. I'm just going to play Ultra Ball. Going to get rid of Mimikyu and another Lily. Ooh, he's going to let loose me. That is fine. I, I actually would rather have a better hand. We got back Lily and Cynthia. We still have Nine Tails. Let's hope this does give us a good hand. Decidueye is safe, too. That's another good thing. Decidueye is safe. Potentially from Necrozma. He's only drawing four cards. We gotta hope this hand is just garbage for him. Plus, we'll activate, we'll activate Counter Gain if he does KO me. And, oh, beautiful. Ooh, that would be insane if that got rid of, like, a uh, Necrozma. I, oh, that would, that would be so ugly if that happened. Okay, it's a Dawn Wings. I saw, like, a Psychic GX. I'm like, oh my gosh. It'll almost look like the promo Necrozma, but it's not. He's just gonna see Recycle me. Fair enough. Now, we will get KO'd next turn by Moon's Eclipse. I don't like that. Hmm. No Guzma. That kind of sucks. I'd like to knock out Marshadow. I think we do. Oh, I don't want to take the knockout, though, because... We just get Moons Eclipsed, and I hate that. We have to attack him, though, because we're going to get knocked out next turn, probably. Hmm. Okay, you know, I think we just stock this thing with damage. I could wait a turn. If we don't get knocked out, we could probably finish that off. I kind of do want to wait a turn. We're going to get access to counter gain, though. But that thing will still be loaded with energy for a Necrozma, and that's not fun. Do we just let him not knock me out? The odds he gets Necrozma are pretty high. But, if we do live, we do avoid any unnecessary things. So maybe I think, yeah, I think this is actually the better play. Just not attack him. Let him tank a hit. Maybe we get Ace Roller too. No, we don't. Okay, well. I think tanking the hit is honestly the smarter play here. Because we just walk into, we just walk into Moon's Eclipse. And then he might just take up, he might take a bunch of prizes. He might take up the three prizes. Because then he just gets an Necrozma playoff. And he takes an easy three prizes. So that is a better idea. Make him attack me with Marshadow. It's the only thing that knocks me out currently on the board. 
Ooh, there it is. Okay, now I'm happy that I did that because that thing just came down. And just a hundred ain't that perfect. This is what I wanted to see. And we just basically say to Mars Shadow, you got no HP left. So I need to start getting damage on that thing. But this is good. And yeah, we can safely KO him now. I don't even know if there's anything left. Yeah, well, still play it. Now I, I regret playing three. <laughs> it's a pretty de dead card. But we knock him out. And he can't really do moves. Timer ball. He could black ray me actually, which I guess he'll do. Black ray would be kind of bad actually. But if he does that, I'll have three energies on him. Maybe I can like hit him hard with Lele. I still have a choice band. But either way, we are going to get access to counter gain, which hopefully comes in clutch. And we're going to be able to knock out Marshadow with a Feather Arrow, which is huge. So, oh no, no, we won't have counter gain then, right? Okay, never mind, never mind, my bad. But we get to knock out Marshadow, which is pretty good at the end of the day. So we get an S-Ball, probably for Deoxys. Wait, you brought out Marshadow? Not... Why didn't you bring out the GX? What? Okay. I mean, I guess he has the energy and like, the double Malamar play, but still, it's kind of weird. He didn't grab anything. Is he, like, out of attackers? He's not... I don't even know if this is, like, gas, gas can. There's no Deoxys or anything. I'm actually kind of glad Mimikyu's in the discard, too. He can copy... Like, even copying Snowy Wind is kind of annoying, because that 30 damage goes a long way. We're going to be at a pretty big spot next turn, though. So that's nice. This guy puts four energies on. Now I actually... Hope. Wait, he's no, he attached. No, he's gonna Guzma. Oh, but he's bringing out Marsh Shadow. Okay. I guess I see this. Now we don't worry about Black Ray. But I really don't get that play. I might actually bait him with Decidueye. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make him bring out the Necrozma. Actually, I'm fine with letting Decidueye get killed here. Your timer ball, it's a little annoying. Piece of garbage card, piece of garbage. Okay, <laughs> such a garbage card, though. All right, we'll grab another Decidueye. Would be nice to get multiple heads so I get rid of this dumb hand. And let's see what the verdict is. Bait him into bringing that out, would be kind of nice. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy that we can knock him out with, that he has to knock out a 200 HP poke, 200 damage Pokemon, and has to waste his big Prismatic Burst on that. That is huge. I really don't know why he didn't take the Black Ray KO. I really don't want, know why he didn't do that. He says well played. We'll say well played right back. He, please bring out Necrozma. No, okay. Well, that's fine. We'll still be down to two prizes, so we're still going to be in a pretty good advantage, if I do say so myself. We'll still be in a pretty good spot. Because we get an extra prize, and all we need to do is finish off this and we win the game. Which should not be that hard. And plus, he'd have to waste his big prismatic burst on me. Like, that's not what he wants to do. I really don't see why he didn't just black ray me. That would have just that would have been devastating, putting all that damage on everything. That's fine. I can't complain. That's just what we want him to do. We get a tag with Larvitar next turn. Play it awkward, finish them off with Nine Tails, Snowy Wind, or whatever. Flying Flip. Though this is kind of where Latios would be nice, because we can Latios him for like 60, 80 with the Feather. But yeah, we're basically going to win this game. I don't see how we're going to lose at this point. I guess if he gets like a Guzma knockout with the Prismatic Burst, yeah, I'm going to be a little fearful. But still, we just need two prizes to win the game. He has to discard all the energy in place, so that's like the only positive. And I don't know how many attackers he has left. He's gonna stretch her. He could Marshadow me again, but he needs to get another attacker into play. Yeah, he's got Marshadow GX. Hmm. This could come down to the wire, maybe. I can see it happening. 
Yeah, it looks like he's going to get the knockout with Marshadow over Necrozma. That's fine. Actually, it's not fine. Ooh, I think we lose. The fact that... Oh, I think we lose. Yeah, I think we lose. Oh, that's annoying. I, I don't see how we get out of this, though. Hmm. We're gonna have to... I really wish to have more damage on him, but he doesn't. Yeah, I think... Uh, if he has that last Guzma, we straight up lose the game. If he didn't have that, we would have been in such a better spot. Okay, well... We're gonna have to bring out Larvitar. Let's see, he'll give us that rare candy top deck or something. We're getting too much right now. We don't need all this stuff. Wow. We're really just not drawing what we need. I guess we hit him because we can finish him off next turn with the counter catcher in hand. Assuming we don't lose. 10 damage. He's beautiful. If he has Guzma, he's got four cards. We probably lose. This game's been going, almost going on for 20 minutes, though. I don't know how that's happened. Does he have Guzma? Yeah, if he didn't take that Marshadow KO, we would be in a really powerful position right now. Because we would have forced him to take that Prismatic Burst KO. He's got three cards, and that last one is Guzma. Flipping, flying flip. Whatever, that'll wrap this piece of video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Don't forget... To subscribe to the road to 4k subs. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to help me hit 4,000 subs. The sub growth has been extremely slow in the past few weeks. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's PDCGO video. Lost Under Hype is here. That game, whatever. It is what it is. We lost, we lost. I mean, I'm not too far on the ladder anyway, so I don't really care that much. But that was a fun game. Both games were really close too. Like, this, this deck does have potential to work, guys. It does have the potential. But that'll wrap the PC Joe video as stated before. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys later after we open up this rare. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on another PC Joe video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit 4K subs. And boom, our rare. Oh my gosh, a GX.